Good morning, folks. Star water in the news again. This time for the snub as NASA watches beautiful ice cloud vortices over Titan's South Pole. Well, despite what just came out of my mouth, the word water is not found in any of their releases on the topic, despite mentioning all the other hypothesized compounds. And I'd like to remind them that Cassini did find large oceans of water just beneath the icy surface of this moon of Saturn. I'd also like to share this. I was told by a reputable former insider that someone was about to definitively debunk my earthquake factors. And if this was that attempt, let's all laugh to the bank. This paper is stating that solar activity alone, sunspots, CMEs, geomagnetic activity, does not trigger large earthquakes. FYI, you can prove that same thing with just the last 20x flares, geomagnetic storms, and proton events. I could have done this analysis at age 15. But you might be asking, where are the planets? Why do they not mention coronal holes? And if they did, would they just blanket the coronal hole list atop the frame without regard for size, position, or the umbral fields? Congratulations to every one of you yesterday who correctly shredded this barely undergrad level paper in almost my exact words. Speaking of quakes, had an unusual tremor in Greenland, and also in the Canary Islands, the uptick swarming is over, but we did still get one four-pointer yesterday. Cyclone Imelda, bearing down on the islands east of Madagascar, best of luck to you folks. While well, Cyclone Victoria, weakening fast as southwestern Australia takes some of the precipitation and as has been true for days, the worst storming in Australia is on the northeast coast. Europe has one strong front pushing through and the top watches are for lightning across a large area of the continent. Tornadoes, hail, damage, and now death. Some of the precipitation totals from the last few nights are straight wicked. The convergence of focus pulling due north of the leading edge has caused four days of frustration from Denver on eastward and we are not done yet. We'll actually even go ahead and say that Noah's watch zone is way too small here. Anywhere along the tail where the drivers northward could see bad weather. Pretty much the entire coastline. Space weather. Mu1's on the right holding around 101. You see the dark corona hole that faced Earth four days ago? His solar wind stream just struck Earth yesterday as the speed in yellow pushes 500 kilometers per second. A very weak impact that induces only minor baseline resonance. So let's go back to yesterday, and the first significant flare we have seen face Earth in many weeks. For those new here, we have seen lots of filaments eject, but they're just producing hydro flares in their wake. This was a more traditional solar flare from an active region, a group of sunspots, followed by a large coronal mass ejection, or CME. Looking at the annual spirals, Earth is the little yellow dot, so we are certainly going to be hit, but we can also use these to determine the max impact speed, and it likely won't eclipse 700 kilometers per second, way too slow to cause any damage. We could be happy about that, but we were not without danger. The specks you see smacking the lens after the eruption becomes visible as an example of a solar energetic particle event, a radiation storm of charged matter enveloping the ISS, potentially airline passengers, and residents at high latitude. This event was a level 1 storm, but a bigger one could be deadly. You can see on the D region here, combined polar radiation with the flare energy signature as the purple and blue circle directly beneath the sun at local noon. Umbral field is tight dipping only moderately although that's a nice opening up top there isn't it sunspots they do look ready to go again literally all of them reverse polarity or not and these here might collide today the radiation storm does continue but it's waning we have that cme on the way no damage expected but aurora should dazzle tomorrow night or sunday eyes open no fear at 6:25 a.m eastern time and that's the news be safe everyone